Well, hello everyone, this is Kimberly here, and I am coming to you with the setup of my baby boy's graduation celebration. We are keeping it simple, and plus we had a little wrench thrown in our plans, but that's okay, you always need a, a plan B. So I'm gonna show you our setup. We are set up in our family room or our movie room. And we have tables set up here. I'll show you around here. I'm keeping the centerpieces very simple. I have four centerpieces, four tables. Um, we're using folding chairs. I did not cover them this time because they are black. And uh, I'm using the black and white theme with touches of silver, gold, and of course purple because the school colors are purple, black, and white. In the middle here, I have a chevron print runner that I ordered from CV Linens that I did, however, cut in half. use heat and bond to hem them. The centerpiece here is a picture of baby boy, or we call him Tyreek, we call him by his middle name. And those mason jars there are from Dollar Tree. And I put some gems in it and a battery operated tea light. Uh, the love sign, I use that because we do love him. His family loves him and we are very proud of him. So I use that love sign in silver and the chevron print uh, mirror I've had for at least two years. I used this two years ago uh, for my other son's celebration and decided to use the chevron print again. But Dollar Tree had those mirrors two years ago. So I'll just show you all the tables here. We kind of have the table set up in a U shape. There's the other centerpiece there. Same setup, just different picture. This one here. Just changed out the pictures, guys. And this one. My fireplace, I used the Dollar Tree banner. And I thought that was really cute with the fringe and the foil, gold and silver. And the cap, the, gadget, the graduation cap and tassel there, or diploma. So I just flanked that on my fireplace. I didn't go overboard with the decorations. I wanted to keep it simple. And over here on our movie bar area, this comes in handy for parties and setups. Uh, all of these items on the wall there with the exception of the banner I was just about to say was from Dollar Tree and the fat head of his face came from his coach, his basketball coach. Uh, the basketball coach every year has these fat heads made of the senior players and he gives them to them and we reuse them for parties, all right? So uh, the banner itself came from Party City. It came in three pieces. The streamers coming down is actually a cap, a graduation cap with the silver coming down. Those came from Dollar Tree. Uh, I used a, a plastic tablecloth this time on the wall instead of the foam board. Uh, that came from, no, that didn't come from Dollar Tree. That also came from Party City, something I already had. And of course, uh, Tyreek's fat head. And then on the countertop itself, 
Uh, these two stands on each side will hold uh, cupcakes that I have in my kitchen right now. I just don't want them sitting out. Uh, those stands came from Pier One. Uh, his cake came from Sam's Club. I have this baker. We have this uh, baker. Uh, we love for her to do our cakes now in Sam's because she does a fantastic job in there. And my hubby just set up the napkins here on the countertop and I'm sorry it's dark a little bit here. It gets dark in this corner here. Think of something for lighting over here because it is extremely dark. Down below we have uh, waters down below for our guests. Uh, we're having the food catered by Sunny's Barbecue. So that was less work on me as far as cooking, which was a win-win. And here's the overall view of my family room waiting before the guest arrives. Um, wanted to film this before everyone came and we get into the festivities right here as you come into my kitchen uh, this is where my guests will pick up their plates and their forks and their napkins I love using that caddy there to house everything so I'm in the process of putting the forks and I think I have the knives the not the knives the napkins back there but it holds everything uh, these plates here came from Dollar Tree. Some of those napkins came from Dollar Tree and the chevron print came from Party City. And this flatware here also came from Dollar Tree. I love using that flatware there. They also have it uh, in the set with the fork knife and spoon, but I'm just using the forks today. So you curve around here. Um, the only thing I'm preparing is some green beans and I'm gonna crumble some bacon up that I've done in the oven. I'm gonna crumble some bacon up and put it all throughout the green beans there. But that's the only thing that I cooked. This right here is my drinking station. Um, again, we are having the uh, food prepared by Sunny's Barbecue. And with that comes the tea and lemonade. So those dispensers there came from Walmart. And they're Better Homes and Gardens dispensers. The cups there, um, I have them in black and purple. They came from Party City. Of course, my coffee station is set up for guests because we do have a few coffee drinkers and uh, they are more than welcome to help themselves to coffee here. And that's my mug there. I'm planning on grabbing another cup of coffee. Lastly here, um, this is at my kitchen island. Um, of course here I have the cupcakes here for right now, but that of course they will move and um, all the food will be set up here. We have uh, sliced pork, chicken, macaroni and cheese, baked beans and coleslaw with garlic bread and then of course my green beans there. And that's it gonna have a good time I don't feel stressed or overworked hubby I don't think was stressed or overworked so right here guys uh, at the end of this video I'll show some clips with everything set up and we'll see if family is okay with uh, a few pics and video footage of when they get here but I hope you've enjoyed this quick video of how we set up for baby boys uh, graduation celebration our plans were to have it on our back patio but it's not finished yet so another celebration another time 
Thanks so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye, guys.